and this script and once script, in a while can no, you please say that i like no, my character no, so i'm putting see. our call out there if anyone has interesting stories please send it to my company because i really uh, okay. i'm looking for a good story Hi guys, welcome to Box Office India. Hi. The trailer is really amazing. It is very intriguing, and you really want to know what's next. How did the idea come about? What was the brief that was in the discussion room between all four of us? All the ghost stories that I've really liked are ones that have more of a layer than just the surface scares, you know. And uh, I was scouting for a writer. I met a bunch of people, and then I came across this young writer who's a horror movie geek uh, called Ensia Mirza and uh, I kind of told her that I want something a little layered and something a little deeper something that goes home with you not just a scare and uh, she came up with this beautiful idea of an old woman who's in palliative care and a young temporary a nurse who comes for like a temporary uh, interim like of three days and uh, I just loved the story and then I worked with her we developed it further honed it sharpened it and came across I mean came to this uh, and then these two and uh, Surekha Sikri uh, came on board and that's it. Yeah, uh, so how difficult it is to make a, a horror film, a con convincing horror film when the Indian audience is too much into Bollywood horror films? How convincing is that? And how it's uh, difficult to make any kind of convincing film <laughs> when the audience is into <laughs> films that are not convincing. <laughs> yeah, I mean any genre, which genre is convincing to you? I mean it's difficult to make you know yeah. it's difficult to make a good film in any country in any genre so uh, this has its own rhythm it has its own beats it has its own tropes uh, so you have to be aware of that and uh, that's it you, you just have to tell that story you know with uh, with a certain truth that can resonate and a certain magic that can lift you, you know? yeah. that's it yeah. uh, Janvi, you did and then you took a break and now with ghost stories what was about this ghost stories that uh, you took it up Zoya <laughs> <laughs> and the script and once the script, in a while can you no, please say that I like no, my but character no, I, love yeah. that. I just think that but I mean Zoya <laughs> but also the character <laughs> but no it's a, I think it's um, on a weird level I think <coughs> I related to my character and um Zoya. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it was a very interesting story and I and I really you know what she said about it having a deeper meaning and having something to say and um I think the horror in our film is more um it's it's more it's more than, <coughs> I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, but it's not as uh it's not so much about the jump scare as much as it is about It's got no jump scares. Yeah, really. it's just I think it's not that kind of film. <laughs> it's just disturbing it's in a, a way. It's a bit of a slow burn, yeah. yeah. But it's just it's still so disturbing in an emotional way, in a way that I think stays with you and it stayed with me after I heard mm. the story. And I just really wanted to be a part of it. Exactly. Like you said, you know, it stays with you even yeah. after you do the uh, the film and you come back home, you have a baggage of what happened on, on set. So how did you come out of it? Uh, what was your uh, process? Uh, so I shot this in between Gunjan and Ruavza. So I went from, I went into another horror film after doing this. <laughs> so I didn't really come out of the horror zone, but it, it, yeah, it was quite back to back. So I just went into. Okay. Oh, you are back with Zoya yes. after Gully Boys. <laughs> How was the experience working with her again uh, and on Ghost Stories? Always a pleasure to to be uh, on her set because it's very meticulous. It's extremely thorough. There's a great team of people, professionals who are working to make her films uh, come alive. Um, she gave me a very detailed narration. She called me home. She didn't want to give it to me on the phone. She didn't want to. I was away. She waited for me for 50, 15 days for me wow. to come back. <laughs> and she read the whole script to me and uh, I said, I've already told you yes, <laughs> but after, <laughs> after hearing this narration, I'm sold. Like, it's amazing what you're trying to do with this script. And uh, you will see when you see the film that it is, uh, it has, uh, it is saying a lot of stuff uh, about, about aging, about, um, about the, the, yeah, the need to, to and have fears, some, you know, very something. human yeah. fears like yeah. aging, abandonment, death, you know, those kind of themes. Right. Uh, so you, Anurag, Dibakar, um, Karan, are the ones who have been coming together time and again and making you know, brilliant uh, films. 
what is that one thing that brings you all together every time and also the next I'll follow up with that next question I mean the first thing that brings us together every time is film uh and this is one place to meet and uh, we are very different we are very uh, uh different artists you know and our, our work is very different from each others and uh, it's great fun to collaborate you know it's really like uh, i really like this gang <laughs> yeah, it's like, so yeah, i wouldn't trade this <laughs> gang for anything i really really enjoy collaborating with them and we always have fun and it's always uh uh you know it's weirdly very different our work from each other but there's always something that there's something common like last stories we didn't really know what the other was doing but all the films had a woman at the center and it just happened inadvertently and it was all about indian women and sexuality and that just came out in a way so i think somewhere we all kind of work in the same uh, side of the fence uh but we all very different so it's fun do you discuss when you'll have a particular script with your new sit down not really but we don't hide it either okay. uh we discuss the genre we want to go with we discuss to take i mean in the sense that what we, what stories we're going to tell that's a mutual discussion with the producer but once that happens we don't really know i mean unless you're like what are you doing so that we don't overlap but all the scripts go to the producer they go to ashi and ronnie and then ashi kind of knows so if there's any overlap we made aware right. you know yeah how much does it uh, so uh, when i was talking to anurag he said you all watch the film together and yeah. decided which film will go for yeah that to be done so which is your favorite from among the other three which uh, film you i mean it's really weird because it's my film it's like saying which is your favorite scene <laughs> literally you know it's, it's it's my film and uh, it's like we've all four directed this film so it's very difficult to be like i like this part of that film. it's my movie yeah which is uh, for all three of us have Which genre do you like the most? And in psychology, which film do you like the most? In which genre, genre in general? Horror? Like yeah, in, in the general, in, in general. general, I mean, I love, uh, I I I really like gangster movies. Oh my god! Monster movies. Gangster yeah, yeah. movies. Okay. So I've been, been trying to convince you really, to make one. I mean, I love dramas. <clears throat> I love comedies. But I re- I like musical. I I like most genres, you know. But I really the films that in my life that I can keep watching. on repeat or wherever it's playing from i'll just continue it is the gangster film i just love them i think relationship dramas yeah, yeah. for me too mm. a good drama is so satisfying uh, yeah. because it gives insight into who i am yeah. what i feel about the other person uh, especially where they are the characters are in conflict and they're changing their stand and we have to ch- still keep choosing whether we are with them or with or we are distant from them yeah. stuff like that when they put me in a in a position to you know root for a certain character yeah. stuff like that i am a big sucker for sci-fi i love uh, horror as a genre mm-hmm. but i enjoy horror in the gaming a lot more than the movies mm-hmm. because it's mo- a lot more immersive because i am the player mm-hmm. and i have to walk down the dark alley and stuff like that mm-hmm. but uh, but i enjoy all kinds of genres You know, Zoya. He just mentioned that he he wants you to direct a gangster movie. Yeah, I've been yeah. I've been pitching. Uh, yeah. I've been conv- trying to convince her since Gully Boy shoot. I'm just waiting for the right one. Isn't she the best candidate to make a, a gangster? I'm because it it's interesting. So I'm putting a call out there. If anyone has interesting stories, please send it to my company because I really uh, okay. I'm looking for a good story. All right. Yeah. Thank you. So much. Yeah. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, this is Janvi Kapoor. Hi, this is Zoya Akhtar. Hi, this is Vijay Varma. You're watching us on Box Office India and if you like this video please like share and subscribe.